What's up guys, Chinese guy here, and today's video I will continue with my series in which I talk about the classes in Guns and Battlefield 4. Some of you guys requested for me to talk about the recon class, but don't worry, I'm doing all the classes and eventually I'll get there. In this video, I'll analyze the engineer class and explain the gadgets that can be used, and in a different video, I'll analyze the SMGs and the rocket launchers, which will be only used by the engineer. The Battlefield 4 Engineer class is a class very focused on vehicles, with weapons that are suited for destroying enemy tanks, helicopters, jets, and more. The Engineers carry powerful anti-tank rocket launchers, and now in Battlefield 4, they also carry SMGs or PDWs for Dingo Infantry. By playing as an Engineer, you can repair your own vehicle if it's damaged, and even if your vehicle is destroyed, you can still engage enemy vehicles with your rocket launcher. Remember, you have a defensive role as well. Since you have access to anti-tank mines, you can place those around the capture points and objectives. And if a map is dominated by air vehicles, use your anti-air rocket launchers and take them down. The Engineer class has two important gadgets which are confirmed to be in Battlefield 4. They are the Repair Tool and the M15 Mines. Then there's the possibility of maybe the EOD bot returning. Let's start by explaining the Repair Tool. It appears and acts the same as it did in Battlefield 3. It takes the form of a blowtorch and is mainly used to repair damaged vehicles. It also allows you to remove enemy explosives by holding the reload button. This was a feature most people didn't know about, including me. It can also damage enemy vehicles and can kill enemy infantry since it is a blowtorch and you can technically burn them. Lastly, the passengers in certain vehicles, usually helicopters, can repair their own vehicles in motion. I hope the repair tool won't change as much since it felt perfect in Battlefield 3, so let's hope they keep it that way. Another confirmed gadget is the M15 mines. They seem to look and operate the same as in Battlefield 3. Vehicle mines can date back to old Battlefield games such as Battlefield 1942. How you can use them is you plant them on the ground in an area where you know enemy vehicles will drive by and then when the vehicles go over the mine, it'll blow up. A single mine is powerful enough to disable a heavily armored vehicle and destroy a light armored vehicle, so they're very powerful. Usually if you're far away from the mines, you can spot them out, but as you get closer, the spotting disappears. In Battlefield 3, any player can detonate the mines using explosives or shots from sniper rifles, pump action shotguns, or from the revolvers. Last is a funny little feature that the M15 mines can do in Battlefield 3. It was the ability to launch vehicles. I hope that feature will return since it was a load of fun to do that. The last gadget I want to talk about is the EOD bot. It could be returning from Battlefield 3, but if it does, it needs a huge buff. The EOD bot only made its first appearance in Battlefield 3 and it has the possibility of returning. The primary roles of the EOD bot are to repair friendly vehicles, dispose of enemy explosives such as anti-tank mines and claymores, and to arm or disarm MCOMs. The small size and speed of the EOD bot makes it very useful for rushing objectives. It can also move through areas quickly. But it was very difficult to control. It was constantly oversteering at slow speeds and understeering at high speeds. It also had very low armor to protect itself. It can be destroyed by one shot from either a small or RPG rocket and easily by gunshots. However, like most vehicles, it can regenerate its health. It also cannot be disabled, only destroyed. If the EOD bot does return, I think they should add a bit more armor to it and improve the controls dramatically. In the right hands and a bit of improvement, the EOD bot will become a powerful tool on the battlefield. Well, that's it for me about the engineer class in Battlefield 4. It hasn't changed much except the SMGs being the main weapon. When more information comes up, I'll update you guys. My next video will be on the SMGs of Battlefield 4, then I'll make a video analyzing the rocket launchers. Thank you guys for watching. If it isn't too much, please leave a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Also, check out my channel down below for other Battlefield 4 detail analysis videos. I'll continue to strive for being your number one source for Battlefield 4 videos. Peace out, guys.